We've been very lucky to paint up some awesome models from the Evernight Battlegrounds game, which is available for you to back today on Kickstarter. The setting of Evernight is a grimdark world perpetually cloaked in eternal night, ruled by the malevolent god known as the Raven King. Each of the 10 characters which is being launched on Kickstarter is a leader for a faction in Evernight Battlegrounds, the game which is due to be released in 2024. So we've been sent three awesome characters to paint up and they really are amazing. Uh, we've got Virial Ashen Heart, we've got Hyde Blackwood, and finally the Spider Queen Isidore Spinneret. So let's jump in and have a look at three of the 10 awesome characters from Evernight Battlegrounds. Uh, we're gonna start with my favorite of the three, which is Hyde Blackwood. And I just couldn't wait till the very end of the video to show him last. Um, do absolutely love the pose and the haunch sort of, uh, sort of look that he's got on that sort of bit of masonry or that, that gravestone there that you can see. Um, I absolutely love what Phil's done with the, the subtle marble effect on the uh, on that gravestone as well. I think it's really, really cool. It's got some sort of, sort of purplish hues in there, some greens and some teals. I think it's really, really well done. Um, it's a very cold miniature. So the overall sort of color scheme and sort of tones that are used of the colors that have been applied are very cold. Um, had a lot of great conversations about sort of like the vibe and feel of the model as well with the guys. All the little details on the model have been painted super clean as well, which I think is really, really well executed and feels done a great job of little subtle details, like for example, the glow effect on the skull as well. I think that's a lovely little thing. Um, when talking about colors, the guys at Evernight really wanted uh, Hyde to have a super sort of cold and menacing vibe. And I think the use of the teals and blues and purples was really do work extremely well. The very pale uh, flesh tone as well just helps sell that sort of like kind of dead kind of visage that he's got. These purple feathers you're gonna see across all of the models and they're quite important to the sort of background to the game and to the characters. But the use of that purple on them really to denote them on the miniatures just works extremely well. I do love the use of the, the metallics on the on the model as well. So we've got a really sort of quite silvery bright gold and that helps just with the other tones and the darker tones that are on the, the piece as well. I do really love the soft purplish OSL that's been done emanating from the feather that's just got a subtle sort of glow on the, on the, the concrete masonry beneath him and also on the leg as well. I think it's really well executed. So next we're gonna have a look at Virial Ashen Heart, another awesome miniature uh, with a really cool base, great use of colors as well that Phil has done on this project. I absolutely love the demons that are sort of cli climbing or clambering up her trying to get at her. I think it's a really good sort of interaction point on the miniature. Um, the use of primary color triad here, so red, yellow, and blue just works extremely well. And uh, the yellow on the base and the yellow and orangey tones and the sort of subtle OSL on the backs and the underarms and the undersides of these demons on the base just looks absolutely lovely. Um, some things that I really, really do find interesting about the model, the cloth and sort of like the, the, the metallics, the way they integrate together and the sort of like the strapping and webbing of the metallic armored sections onto the legs as well. Just some really interesting little details that Phil spent a lot of time putting texture and interest into. Um, if we move the model around, you'll see that lovely shield that she's got there just with all those little details and that red emblem at the top and that sort of demonic visage that's just on the front of the shield. The, um, the overall face complexion on this as well is again, very, very muted and very desaturated, um, almost sort of deathly, like a deathly stare that she's got as well, which is quite cool. And um, you'll see those purple feathers again, which is another thing that unifies obviously something in the in the background to this game as well. So you'll see that on some on the other models in, the, in this sort of range of models as well, be it on Kickstarter or on the three that we've painted. So that's Vera Ashen Heart, another great model from this Kickstarter. I do hope that you like her. Last but by no means least, we have the Spider Queen Isidore Spinneret. And uh, what a model to finish off this showcase video. Uh, I, when I first saw this, I was absolutely blown away at all the little details and the things that are on this model and the sheer amount of interesting sort of features and things that there are. Uh, where to start? Well, I think we, we should start with the base typically to start off with. Um, you've got these really cool little spiders just on the base here scuttling around with that lovely green OSL uh, that's emanating from that egg cluster or egg sac that's just hanging beneath Isidore's sort of uh, chest area here. Um, really, really awesome little detail with the little light catch points that are just obviously on those individual eggs. And I love this mottling kind of pattern over some of the sort of uh, the legs and arms and things. It's really interesting, almost like a marble-esque kind of patterning just on those uh, on those limbs. Um, obviously, the, the color usage on this as well, that lovely green and red complementary scheme with the harmonious color of purple just works extremely well. One of the things I think Phil's done really well is just sectioning the model by use of color. So all the armored areas, obviously, in that lovely purple, as you can see, like for example, even, even the, the cross guard on the blade has been done to sort of kind of potentially say that it's the same material as the armored areas of her legs as well. 
Um, if we move the model around, just so you can see a, a bit of a more of a 360 on the model, you've got some really lovely pink tones as well that work really well with the purple, obviously. But then the overall complexion of the color of the scheme has got this really porcelain kind of like whitey creamy tone to it. Uh, and there's some really good usage of sort of like teals as well, which again is harmonizes really well with the red um, and complements the red quite nicely. One thing I do really like is the, the, the true metallics that have been done on the blades. I think sometimes true metallics often get overlooked. And like having some weathering and scratching and details on there, as you can see, just really shows interest and most importantly, use of that blade. Um, it's just a really good way of toning metallics to give that sort of non-metallic kind of refraction kind of look. Um, but overall, a really, really exquisite piece that Phil was absolutely knocked out of the park. So there we have the three awesome characters from Evernight. Uh, you can go find out way more about that Kickstarter, which is available now in the description of this video. And if you'd like your characters from Evernight painted by us, then also the link to the Siege website can be found in the description of this video. Please do like this video and also finally subscribe to the channel because it does help us out massively. Uh, and from all the team and myself, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.